Welcome to Tech Weather with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about select and select expression functions in PySpark. Now, what is select function? Select function in PySpark is used to retrieve specific columns from a data frame. So you can select one column or multiple columns. You can apply some transformations or expression to the columns. And you can also rename columns by using alias function as well. Select expression is another function that we will use in this demo. This function allows you to use the SQL expressions directly within a selector. It is useful when applying a transformation, aliasing and aggregation without explicitly using PySpark functions. Now let's go ahead and take a look here. So first of all, we are going to import this uh, functions module so we can use different uh, parts of uh, these functions from uh, there. We can use the uh, column expression when uh, and uh, later uh, as well. So here's my sample data. So I have few records right there and uh, this does not have any column as of now, but uh, here we will create a data frame with columns. Now this is my sample data and it has the uh, ID, name, salary, and department and age so what you will do you will have once you have the data here then you will say df that's a data frame and say spark dot create data frame that's going to create a data frame for us by using this data that we have right here and then we provided a list of or the array of columns here so uh, that will be used uh, against each of uh, these values. Uh, now we can use the df.show to see the data that we have been doing it. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to run the entire file. I'm going to run selected text. Uh, so you can do control shift enter to run as well. Uh, so here is our data frame. We can see we have ID, name, salary, department and age. Now let's go ahead and take a look on the select uh, function. So here, uh, if I want to select, uh, let's say, name and salary. So this is the column, right? And then another one is salary. So in this case, I have to say df data frame dot select. So this is the name of the data frame. You can have df1 or my data frame or whatever the name you want to give. And then you will say select. And uh, from there, you will provide the list of the columns that you want to see. And then you can add show to it. Now, if I will execute this one, so shift uh, control and uh, enter enter and it is uh, showing me name and uh, salary so you can select the column very easy to understand uh, and how exactly this work uh, now if you want to select uh, the columns uh, by using a call function you can do as well you will say df dot select call and then provide the name of that uh, column uh, so this will be also providing a pretty much the same output what we have uh, already seen uh, so no difference really. So we have a scene column here and department. Uh, so that's one you can use. If you want to alias those names, such as uh, let's say you have name and you want to say employee name and salary, you want to say employee salary, you can do that. So you will say df dot select, uh, then you say column and then provide the name of the column, then use alias function uh, against it. And then uh, say the what uh, uh, you want to uh, rename. Uh, so name will be renamed to the employee name and salary will be uh, alias to the employee uh, salary. So let's execute that and see how the output uh, looks like. And you can see that right there uh, here uh, we have a employee name and then we have a employee sal salary. Now that's great and now using expressions in the select. So df dot select and the use expression here and uh, with the name expression and here uh, what you are doing uh, salary multiply 1.10 as increased salary and then you are showing it so let's select that one so it's going to use that expression and multiply the value so you will see name comes as is we haven't done anything with that one and uh, now what we will do we will have salary uh, that's multiply with the uh, uh, 1.10 now if i want to show uh, salary original salary as well no problem i can copy this uh, and uh, here i can put the original salary and let's uh, do that so that will look. okay let's execute this uh, statement again and now we should see three columns one is the uh, name another one is the uh, salary and then uh, this is multiply with the 1.10 uh, with this expression uh, so if i want to uh, actually i was just uh, we don't have to uh, say expressions and everything with the if we are not using it so we could have removed this part so if i will do something like that uh, see this outcome should be just fine okay that work as well so you don't have to if you're not 
writing expressions on these then you don't have to do anything with that one okay now if we want to select with the conditional uh, expression let's say i want to say uh, df dot select that's the that will stay as is the data frame dot select and then you have a, a name a column a name column then you have salary and you can say when uh, salary is greater than seven thousand in this case uh, uh, this 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 is a there are some records here we can see there are two records right there and uh, then a print uh, high otherwise the uh, low and alias this as the salary category and if i will do that it's going to create a new column depending on these conditions so we use when in this case and you can see right there we have a name we have salary and we have salary category anything below 7000 is or equal to 7000 is shown low and then it is shown high for the values which are greater than 7000 so you can use all these expressions inside the select as well now if you are using select expressions for so this is like more like a sql like expressions so you will say df data frame dot select expression you select the column like name salary and here you have salary multiplied to as double the salary so uh, this is more like a sql uh, way of writing this expressions uh, so if i do that uh, we should see our name here and the uh, double salary so it is a multiple of that uh, so multiplying with two now let's take a look on the using uh, select expression uh, for uh, uh, sql like expression so you will say data frame dot select expression and then you provide the list of the columns that you want to show in this case we want to show the name then uh, what we are doing here we are saying salary multiplied to as the double salary so that's like a, your sql statement that we write often we multiply a, a column value with any uh, like a constant value here and then we are aliasing, aliasing uh, this column as a double salary we can uh, go ahead and run this one and uh, that should work uh, just fine and now we see that uh, we have name and a uh, double salary um, here uh, now we are going to go ahead and use the lit function and uh, uh, add uh, uh, some values here so we are saying df dot select the name department lit active and alias as status so that's a constant value we are adding as a status column and we can use the lit function uh, if you want to use and we have provided the value right here so if we execute uh, then it's going to add uh, a con another column to it uh, and uh, that will be values uh, active so it's uh, just adding uh, an extra column to the data frame right there okay now if we want to go and say selecting column dynamically so let's say you provide the list of the columns so we have a salary name and all that and you can also go ahead and maybe we want to add some more columns such as age we already know the names here so we have these names uh, all of these names are available so we can actually take entire uh, list or maybe uh, just uh, you know whatever we want to put here so we can build this uh, list here and then uh, uh, from there uh, you can uh, provide inside there so you will say df dot select and asterisk columns to select so this is the, the list you have there so I already you have it and then you say select so if you execute this uh, you're gonna get all those uh, sorry hit enter again so I need to select uh, shift control enter so I hit that to run the selected code and you can see right there it is now name salary department and age so you can uh, build this array here uh, and uh, then whatever um, you want to add those columns there you know you can have it or you don't want to have it it's your choice so, so that's very convenient uh, often we have to do dynamically where we select those uh, columns and make create the list first and then select the data so that will be very helpful okay selecting all columns except one so that's also possible as you know that we have like uh, five columns here uh, but we want to ignore the age and we want to select other any every other column in this case it's not bad you can say maybe just uh, create this list here and uh, then uh, provide the columns but let's say you have 98 uh, columns and you want to ignore uh, uh, two of them in that case you don't want to do this so you will say df dot select and then you say column four in the column list in df so df dot columns it's getting the list of the columns all the columns and then we are saying if a column is not equal to age so then show so all get all the columns but not the age you know so any column that's not equal to age show me all that so that we will use it here so this is very convenient as well so you can um, 
ignore the columns that you don't need to see. So this is also one of the way but you can use select function and get the specific column all of them but ignore a couple of them as well. So uh, I will put this script in the description as well. Thank you very much for watching and I hope uh, this uh, video did help you to learn something new. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.